Hi guys, welcome back, it's Anna. Okay, today, really quick, I just wanted to go over all the blank notebooks that I still have to use. Um, you're going to notice that most of them are still the kind of pocket size, like field note size ones. Um, and this is in keeping with my goal to use up blank notebooks because most journalers, I have fallen into the same kind of trap of it's a pretty notebook, I need to buy it, but then it sits on the shelf and I never use it. So toward the end of uh, the end of 2016, I decided that this was going to be my goal. It's going to be stationary minimalism. Um, and I've been going strong. I spent all of 2017 doing exactly that is using up a bunch of notebooks and blank journals. So I, I will link all the videos that I have kind of related to that down below. But today I'm going to go over just what I have left to use. This is not including like actual sketchbooks because sketchbooks tend to be, you know, somewhat larger and not exactly uh, what I would use for journaling. But um, I'm going to start over here just because these are kind of like the small, thinner, like cute notebooks, cool notebooks that I have for the longest time don't know what I'm going to be doing with them. But I've decided that when I have like a story idea that I want to work on, these are the notebooks that I'll reach for. So not exactly what I'd use for journaling, um, but they would be for like note taking and all of that. So I've got a Muji notebook here. This I got in England. Um, paper chase I think it was just darn cute um, another one from paper chase in England this Loish term I picked up at I think like Powell's books in Portland um, super thin you know so like these aren't functional for journaling I have a Rick Steves travel journal I might probably use this at some point for journaling just because it's a good size Field notes, so I've got the state ones, so I've got a Wisconsin one, a couple Washington ones left. These are good for stories. These are the expedition ones, so they're kind of like, I've got this like cool waterproofish type paper. Not ideal for journaling and not ideal for a lot of different pens because they do smear. So I'm still deciding what to do with that. I've got one more of the Eclipse and then an unopened pack of Eclipse ones and I did previously use a set of those for um, a story and then I haven't decided what I want to do with these these are really pretty I really like this set even though it's not good for ink this I got from like Old Navy when they revamped and they had like a bunch of free notebooks so I had one of those left this isn't a journal it's more like a tracker of like different cheese types that um, you can try and then kind of review I love this one. I haven't used it yet, but I'm a big Wisconsin girl, so I love cheese. Had to get it. This one I picked up uh, late last year in Powell's. It's kind of like a stargazing tracker notebook. It's really cool. I want to start doing that. This is just a notebook that I got at Daniel Smith, and it's just a little notebook of vellum paper. And then this I picked up at a local art shop. Um, it's just supposed to be a pocket sketchbook, but I want to use it to keep track of all my marker colors, all my paint colors, and that way I can actually know what colors I have. So that's that. And then these are the ones that I've decided I will be using up soon. This is a pocket notebook for the passport. Traveler's Notebook. I found a lightweight paper version for the passport size. For the longest time, I didn't know if this actually existed, but I found this at Kino Kunia. So it's the number five insert. I will be using that, even though I really don't like journaling in the size because I fill it up so fast, but we'll see. I have the Fantastic Beasts um, one. Pick this up at a local toy store. It's lined, which is a bummer, but I'll get through it. I really like the cover. Kind of like that Art Deco look. Um, 
This I've had for ages. It's a really pretty covered notebook with, once again, lined paper, but gotta use it up, guys. I don't wanna hoard it, and you know, sometimes you just don't wanna give things away, so. This I did pick up recently because I wanted to try it. I've never tried the Midori MD notebooks, but I've heard the paper's really nice. And I got the grid paper because I'm not a fan of the lined. I like grid for some reason. And I love the size of it. It's A6. So I will be trying that out. Um, these are a couple junk journals that I've had for years. For years. I actually made this well before my honeymoon because we were going to England and Paris. And I wanted something easy to carry around that I could use to journal. But I ended up going with something else and then I never used it. So I might actually do a flip through because I don't think I've ever done one. Um, but it's a big travel themed uh, junk journal set. So that kind of comes together in its own that I will be using. My birds journal. You've already seen the flip through for that. So I will be using that this year. I'm probably going to wait for spring to come and use it because I feel like that's the perfect time. But it's by far my favorite junk journal that I've ever made because I think it's just so pretty and I've added a few more like little bits that I've tucked into pockets and such that I really want to use and that'll be really fun so I'm really looking forward to using that one um this is the remainder of the pages that I ripped out out of a journal that I'd kind of taken apart for various reasons and then I had some leftover pages that I sewed back together to create kind of three different inserts. So I thought maybe I could use it for sketching or something. Um, I might not journal in it because it's, you know, there aren't that many pages, but I love that kind of handmade paper. So that's something I will be using up this year. Um, these are just folded pieces of watercolor paper that I can easily slip into my traveler's notebook for when I want to watercolor on location. So that's not really a journal per se, but um, something I do intend to kind of add into my journal. Um, this is a blank traveler's notebook insert that I have to use up. This is another lined insert that my husband wasn't using, so I do have to use that one up too. Another field note side or set. Uh, what? Where did I get this? I think I got it in that mustache stationery subscription box, and I wasn't too fond of the colors, but after listening to the Erasable podcast, somebody had said these work really well with gel pens, um, and I thought maybe I could use my silver gel pen to journal in it, or pencil, because you know I, I love using pencil recently, so... I think that would be a good set to use that up. And then this one is a new acquisition. I had to pick it up because it's Hieronymus Bosch. He is one of my absolute favorite artists. Um, if I'm a big art history buff, um, and this is just one of my favorite, favorite pieces. It's got a magnetic side. I got it at half price books. I didn't even care if it was lined. So that's the information. Garden of Earthly Delights. It's just, it's such an amazing piece. Um, it's very fantastical and surreal and, you know, there's like people coming out of eggs. There's upside down bodies and people coming out of berries and it's, I love it. Um, so I didn't care that it had lines, and I didn't care that it was, you know, very structured. I just, I wanted the journal, because it made me happy. So I do have to use that up. And that's it. Those are all the journals and notebooks that I have to use up this year. And I think it it's actually working out, because if you've watched my latest chat video, which is also linked down below, I have not been journaling a lot lately and so I think the pocket sizes will work out perfectly if I'm just kind of scribbling down a few notes here and there 
So that's the update. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, I know I haven't really been getting back to comments even though I want to, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can also post your questions there and I will easily get back to you on that. But I wanted to share with you because I know some of you have been asking where I am with my notebooks and this is kind of it. I'm very happy with my progress and I feel like I can easily get through this for 2018 and then kind of go from there and decide what I want. So, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing well in your own stationary minimalism goals. Um, if you want to share where you're at and your progress, that would be great so we can kind of encourage each other. And I hope you are doing very well and enjoying your day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.